Foot Soldier is probably the most consistent character in Garden Warfare. His weapon's easy to use in his good old ranges, he's got some of the best mobility in the game, and on top of that he can one-shot people. There's a reason so many people main this guy, but you tend to see the same few soldiers getting actually picked. There's a good 80% chance that if you see a soldier, he's probably using Sky Super Arctic. This video will hopefully shed some light on the less used variants, while also give you some stats of the more used ones. I've left timestamps in the description if you want to skip to any specific part of the video, as well as links to all my data if you want to view it yourself. I'd also recommend checking the comment section for any pinned comments, as I'll be using them to make corrections or clarify anything I said. This was actually the first video I made in the series, but I'm redoing it due to the old one having an outdated format and having a lot of mistakes. The old video will still be up, but I'll be moving it out of the series playlist. First, we have some basic stats to go over. This includes pretty much anything that you can see in-game or that doesn't require a calculation. Feel free to skip the section if you're already well versed in foot soldiers. First is ammo. Foot soldier and Arctic Trooper both have an identical 30 shots by default and 35 with the upgrade. They're also the only situation where this happens with soldiers. General Supremo can fire 48 shots before overheating by default and 62 with the overheat upgrade. Camel Ranger has 15 shots by default and 18 with the upgrade. Sky Trooper has 25 shots by default and 30 with the upgrade. Centurion has 12 shots by default and 14 with the upgrade. Next are the soldiers that lack an ammo upgrade, giving them the same amount of ammo regardless of the situation. Super Commander was 3, Tank Commander is 1, Park Ranger is 18, and Scuba Soldier has 2. For reload, Foot Soldier, Arctic Trooper, Sky Trooper, and Centurion all have the same 2.2 second reload by default and 1.7 second reload with the upgrade. Slightly faster than that is Park Ranger, with a 2 second reload by default and a 1.5 second reload with the upgrade. Faster than him is Scuba Soldier, with a 1.7 second reload by default and 1.4 second reload with the upgrade. Tank Commander is even faster than that, with a 1.6 second reload by default, a 1.4 second reload with one upgrade, and 1.2 second reload with both upgrades. Super Commando was the fastest, with a 0.7 second reload by default, a 0.6 second reload with one upgrade, and a 0.5 second reload with both upgrades. Camel Ranger is slower than Foot Soldier, with a 3 second reload by default, and a 2.5 second reload with the upgrade. General Supremo is the slowest, with a 3.5 second overheat by default, and 3.2 seconds with the upgrade. Damage numbers are obviously important for calculating DPS and time to kill, and can be a bit tricky to nail down just how high they are at specific ranges. Most soldiers deal the same damage at medium and long. Those include Foot Soldier, Super Commando, Arctic Trooper, General Supremo, Sky Trooper, Centurion, Park Ranger, and Scuba Soldier. Foot Soldier does 8 damage at long and 10 at close. Super Commando does 14 damage at long and 22 at close. Arctic Trooper does 5 damage at long and 7 at close. General Supremo does 6 damage at long and 7 at close. Sky Trooper does 6 damage at long and 9 at close. Centurion does 12 damage at long and 15 at close. Park Ranger does 6 damage at long and 9 at close. His AoE adds a total of 6 damage per shot at long and 8 damage per shot at close. Finally, Scuba Soldier does 40 damage at long and 60 at close. His Flash damage does 20 at long and 30 at close. The soldiers that don't do the same damage at medium and long include Tank Commander and Camel Ranger. Tank Commander does 32 damage at long, 44 at medium, and 65 at close. His Splash does 10 at long and medium, and 20 at close. Camel Ranger does 15 damage at long, 17 at medium, and 18 at close. Travel time is an arbitrary stat that's used to calculate time to kill. It also gives a general understanding of projectile speed. Foot Soldier, Arctic Trooper, General Supremo, Sky Trooper, and Centurion all have the same projectile speed. Park Ranger is slightly faster, Super Commando is slightly faster than that, and Camel Ranger is the fastest. His projectile speed is also identical to default cactuses. Tank Commander and Scuba Soldier both have an identical slower projectile speed. Time to Freeze only applies to Ice Variants, and it's important to know if you plan on using them a lot. Arctic Trooper would take 14 shots by default to freeze someone, equaling 1.4 seconds to freeze. With the Ice Upgrade, it takes 11 shots, bumping that down to about 1 second to freeze. Yeah, there's a very good reason a lot of people call him overpowered. Rate of Fire is simply how fast the character shoots. What we want is the commonly used rounds per minute, which you get by taking a character's attack interval under 1 and multiplying that by 60. Foot Soldier and Arctic Trooper both have the same 550 rounds per minute, which is expected based on how they perform in game. Super Commando's individual bursts actually have a slower rounds per minute of 450, which upon closer inspection is actually true. Tank Commander doesn't have a fire rate, as his rounds per minute are entirely based on his reload due to him having only one shot. General Supremo is the fastest rounds per minute at 770, which isn't that surprising considering how much of a bullet hose he is. 
Chem Ranger has a slower 250 rounds per minute, which is about 66% faster than default Cactus. Centurion has a slightly slower rate of fire, at 225 rounds per minute. Skechipper is faster than default, with 650 rounds per minute. Park Ranger is a decent bit slower, at 350 rounds per minute. Finally, Scuba is the slowest, with 75 rounds per minute. DPS is the simplest way to look at how effective certain characters are, and most people use it for comparing variants. It's not as accurate as Time to Kill, but it does provide a clear-cut overview. We'll be using Foot Soldier as our basic average, as he's the default variant. He does a decent 73 DPS at medium and long, ramping up to about 92 at close range. Many variants are worse at all ranges in comparison to him, however. Those include Arctic Trooper, Tank Commander, Camo Ranger, Centurion, Scuba Soldier, and Super Commando. The last one might come as a bit of a shock considering how many Foot Soldier mains will hail him as the best one, but due to him being a burst damage character, DPS has applied him very well, making him look worse than he actually is. The time to kill section represents him much better and accurately. The same applies to Tank and Scuba. General Supremo is better at long and medium, actually taking the top spot for those ranges, but he drops off at close, being slightly worse. Sky Trooper is better at all ranges, but he doesn't take the top spot for close. That goes to Park Ranger. Park Ranger is largely at long and medium, but at close range he almost breaks 100 DPS, making him the best at close overall. This is of course calculated with his AoE damage, as in game it basically works as an additive. His DPS without it is listed above. Time to Kill is the most accurate way to measure a character's effectiveness, better representing more burst damage variants. You get Time to Kill by multiplying a character's attack interval by one less than the amount of shots needed to get a Vanquish. After that, you add the needed travel time or reload. We'll still be using Foot Soldier as our basic average. I'd also like to go over this line under Centurion. In order to better represent the extra fire damage, this line subtracts 25 health from the above health pools. A few characters end up being slower at all ranges of health pools. This includes Arctic Trooper and both Centurion's lines. Arctic Trooper is mostly excused, as his whole gimmick is doing less damage for freeze, but Centurion is just sad. Most fire characters will see some kind of improvement when given a plus fire damage line, but he just doesn't. I guess there's a reason why a lot of people think he's bad. At long range, almost every single character is worse than every health pool, with Tank Commander taking the bottom spot across the board. General Supremo is the only character to be better than Foot Soldier at long, meaning he technically takes the top spot for almost every health pool. He's worse at 550 due to his long reload. I was thinking Camel Ranger would take the top spot, but his falloff appears to have gotten the better of him. He is still probably going to be better than Default Foot Soldier, as he is more accurate. General Supremo is also interesting, due to his high bloom. It won't cause you to miss any shots on most interactions, but if you're fighting cross the map, it can be very annoying. I'd say at about 120 meters, you should use Foot Soldier over Supremo. At medium range, Super Commando, Tank Commander, Scuba Soldier, and Sky Trooper continue to be worse, but the other soldiers finally start being better. Camel Ranger improves greatly being better at 100, 110, 150, and 275, actually taking the top spots for 100, 110, and 275. He's also average at 125 and 200. Park Ranger improves slightly, being average at 100 and 125, but still worse at all other health pools. Joseph Supreme was better at all health pools besides 550, but he loses his top spots for 100 and 275 to Camel Ranger. At close range, Super Commando finally gets his time in the spotlight. He's better at almost every health pool, being only average at 110 and 150. He also takes the top spot for 125, 175, 200, 275, and 550. Tank Commander is still worse at almost every health pool, but he's better at 125. Dull Supremo takes the bench for close range, being slightly worse at almost every health pool and average at 125 and 275. Camera Ranger is back to being worse overall, but Sky Trooper finally sees some improvement. He's better at 125, 150, and 175. Average at 100, 110, and 200, but worse at 275 and 550 due to his reload. Park Ranger also finally gets some love, being better at all health pools besides 110 and taking the top spot for 550. Scuba Soldier also improves, taking the top spot for 100 and 110. He's worse at every other health pool, however. The meta for Foot Soldier still pretty solidly sticks for most of the characters generally used. Default is still good in most situations, and Super Commando and Sky both destroy at close range. I'd also like to see more people using Supremo and Park Ranger, as they're both very powerful in their own rights. The amount of people who play Scuba surprises me though, as I've always known just how little damage he does. I guess he's always there as the sit back and spam character. I'll be doing another break video next, 
going over weapon type abilities like Peak Gatling and Smoldering Madness, so make sure to subscribe to stay notified when that'll happen. Feel free to also put any comments below with questions or suggestions you might have. Anyway, I need to go work on more videos, so I'll catch you next time.